Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad which is running Google Android 4.0 based on CyanogenMod Mod 9. This is currently running Alpha 0.6 software, which uh, has most things working pretty smoothly, but it does not support hardware accelerated video playback. And what that means is Netflix doesn't work, uh, high quality, high definition YouTube videos don't work, and the uh, system works harder than it really should to try to decode HD video playback. So you might have problems with HD videos that you copy to the device's local storage. Uh, there's a new version called Alpha 1, which actually deals with most of those problems. Netflix still doesn't work, but YouTube does. I'm going to show you in a minute how to install Alpha 1, but first I'll show you a little evidence of the problem. If we go and take a look at an HD video here from YouTube, you can see that it sort of gets stuck and nothing happens when we try to play it. And we get an error here saying there was a problem. If I turn off high quality, we'll get a standard definition video that plays just fine, but uh, as soon as I try to go back to high quality, it just freezes. So we're going to take a look at how to fix that. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to the Roots Wiki forum and download the latest alpha release, which is Alpha 1. Uh, you can find a link for that at lilliputing.com and instructions on how to do that. Uh, the rest of the instructions I'm about to show you assume that you're already running an earlier version of Cyanogen Mod 9 on the tablet. If this is your first time, if you've got a device that's running WebOS, you can go ahead and uh, um, check out lilliputing.com for information on how to install Android to dual boot between WebOS and uh, Android. Um, but these instructions assume that you're already running an earlier version. So we're going to um, assume that you've downloaded the uh, latest file, copied it to the storage here, and now you're just going to press and hold the power button to get the tablet options here. We're going to say reboot. And from here we're going to reboot to recovery. And this might take a moment or two, so I probably should have given that spiel while we were waiting for it to happen instead. Uh, this is going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is a utility that allows you to back up and restore your device. It also allows you to install custom software. And in this case, since we've already installed Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha uh, 0.6 and Alpha 1 is just an incremental upgrade, it's not going to overwrite your files or settings. Uh, so if everything goes according to plan, you should have all of the apps and everything else that you've already installed on here should remain. Uh, that said, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and back up your device. I already have a backup, but I'll uh, show you once we get to Clockwork Mod real quickly how you can back up your device so that if anything does go wrong, hopefully you can get back into Clockwork Mod and restore your system. It's kind of a bright day here, so you can't see the screen as well as you could, but there we go. You can see me. Hello. Oh, you can see the camera. Hello, camera. Sometimes it seems to reboot more quickly than other times, but uh, for some reason today it's been kind of slow to reboot. And for some reason it just wants to reboot directly into... Oh wait, no. The splash screen's gone. Here we go, so we're going to Clockwork Mod. Okay, so from here we're using the volume buttons and the home button and the power button to navigate. You can use volume buttons to scroll up and down, and the home button to select. So we're going to, uh, well, real quick I want to show you, you can go to Backup and Restore, and just click the Backup button to make a backup of your device. You can also then go back into that menu to Restore. To uh, go back to the home screen, I'm just going to hit power button, and now we're going to scroll down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and there's the zip. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that by pressing the home button, and you can move to say yes, install, so that you can go back if you want to go back, and let's go ahead and do it. So now you should see some text running across the screen here. And this will take a moment or two. But the entire upgrade process really just takes a couple of minutes. Uh, you spend almost more time waiting for your device to shut down and then to boot up again than you do installing.
And you can see the yellow progress gar bar moving along nicely there. And that is it. It should say install from SD card complete. Now we can use the power button to uh, go back to the main menu and then choose reboot system now. And we're rebooting. You can also go in and wipe your uh, cache from that if you'd like. It's not 100% necessary in all circumstances to wipe your cache, but it's, um, it's probably not a bad idea. I just sort of skipped it here because I'm trying to keep this video relatively short. Of course, in trying to keep the video relatively short, I made one major mistake, which I'll show you in a second. Let's go ahead and reboot. So I'm pressing and holding the power button and the home button. And uh, almost anywhere you are in the tablet, if you run into trouble, you can do that. Press and hold the power button and the home button, and it should reboot. So we see the HP logo here. And what I did wrong here is it's set to go to a custom kernel called CM Rict Kernel. Um, this latest version of Cyanogen mod doesn't seem to like that kernel just yet, so I may have to try to uh, change the kernel later. But for now, let's just boot main Cyanogen mod. And now we can tell it's working because we've got the splash screen coming up here. Uh, the reason I didn't solve that brick kernel previously is that it uh, actually makes the tablet run a little bit faster than it otherwise would. You can actually run up to, um, I think, 1.7 or 1.9 gigahertz. It's not something I actually do very often, but I uh, haven't bothered to uninstall that kernel. So. The touchpad, of course, actually has a 1.2 gigahertz um, processor, but it can be overclocked and underclocked pretty easily. Uh, now from here, it's going to show you the upgrade menu, and it just uh, it tells you that it's optimizing all the applications that you have installed. Uh, I currently have apparently 135 applications. Those aren't all apps I installed. Some of them are apps that just sort of come with Android. Um, but it should take a minute or two to do the upgrade process here. And once it finishes with the upgrade process, you should be loading back into Android. And now you can tell that we're running the latest version because if we go into the settings, click About Tablet, and scroll down here, you should see that it says Cyanogen Mod uh, version 9.0 RC Touchpad Alpha 1. And to, double, to confirm that everything's working properly, let's go ahead and fire up that YouTube application again. And now, when we try to watch an HD video, it plays back smoothly. Although, again, we're still having problems with the uh, mirror effect here. <laughs> um, but you can see that the video of me showing you yet another tablet is playing smoothly in high definition. Again, Netflix doesn't work, but YouTube video and local playback, uh, playback of local HD videos should feature hardware acceleration. So that's a quick look at Android 4.0 with Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 1 for the HP touchpad and how to install it. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.com.